Hi, welcome. In this video, I'd like to show you the always there NC code feature of SharpCam. If we take a look at the part manager, we've got a tab called NC code. So if we click that, and that will display the NC code for the current part. At the moment, we don't have any tool paths, um, but nevertheless, we still have a beginning and, and the end of a program. So let's go ahead and create a pocket operation for this middle contour. I'm going to select a tool. Tool 4 and use a pocket operation. Then I'm going to enter some nominal uh, Z positions and some cutting data. And I'll select that in a contour and add it to the operation. So as you can see, the toolpath has been created. Then if we click the NC code tab, you can see that the NC code is already there. We create the NC code instantly. So it doesn't matter what you do, you never have to actually generate it yourself. So let's just give you an extreme example. Let's go back to the properties. And let's go to isometric view. Let's um, make the final depth 100 and, and let's do 200 passes. A pretty extreme example, but nevertheless, so let's just refresh that. So looking in the working area, you can see that the tool paths have uh, been created, um, many of them. So let's go to the NC code tab and you can see that the NC code was already there. Coming down to the bottom and uh, there's, so there's 17,000 lines of NC code just there. I mean, I could undo that now. And you can see it's gone back just to the original uh, small number of lines and then undo that again and there's nothing there. So really, there's no time wasted in generating NC code at the end. It might seem a small uh, time concern, but it all adds to the productivity. Because what we can do now is when we finish creating our part, we just flip to the NC code tab. And if you want to send the program to the machine through RS-232, we can just choose the your machine here, which is the RS-232 settings. And then we can just click the, the send button, or we can save the NC code to a, a specified location and then you can send the program to your machine with your favorite comms package. And that's the end of this video. Thank you very much.